season's greetings from Rex Tynan. <laughs> Probably drunk in some gutter by now. <laughs> Everything to your liking, is it? Oh, good morning, Martin. I said, everything to your liking? And I said, good morning, Martin. Good morning, Hilda. Howard, it's Martin. Good morning, dear. Good morning, Howard. <laughs> good morning, Martin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Howard, but I was under the impression that your house was over the road. Howard said, good morning. Good morning, Howard. <laughs> good morning, Martin. Yes, it is, but we're not in it. I can see that. Why? <laughs> because of the Pritchards. Pritchards? Nice people. There are eight of them. More of the overspill from Paul's party, I suppose. It seemed a pity to split them up, and Anne said you wouldn't mind us sleeping here. Oh, did she just let her show her face outside that bathroom, that's all. Well, you are a grumpy box this morning, aren't you? <laughs> this is my house. I'll be what I like in it. Did you sleep well, Hilda? Yes, thank you, Howard. Go on, Betty. Good morning. You must be Martin. Good morning. Yes, I am Martin. Well, I think you're terrific. <laughs> what? Oh, sorry. I'm Louise. No, letting a crowd of complete strangers doss down in your house, that is really something. Well... And you weren't even at the party. No, well, there's a reason for that. I know. Anne told me. Did she? Yes. Very busy man. Hell of a week. Just too tired. Absolutely understandable. Yes, well, valves can take it out of you. And when Anne said Martin won't mind, I could tell that she had complete trust in you. Oh, must be wonderful. A relationship like that. I think Anne is married to a very lovely man. Oh, well, I don't... <laughs> I don't know about very... <laughs> Sit down, and I'll cook you some nice breakfast. Will you? Who's going to have a chipolata? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I bet you were. I didn't fancy any breakfast. I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't. <laughs> well, you see, it got a bit late and some people had... Some? No... There are 80 people around my breakfast table. Are you sure? Well, it seems like it. I don't know most of them. Well, you see, these are Paul's house guests for Christmas. Oh, really? Well, let him have them in his house, then. Well, they can't possibly all stay there, so... <laughs> it's only till the day after Boxing Day and... The day after Boxing Day. Come here. Come here. Anne, would you like some breakfast? I... <laughs> Sorry. Just fooling about. <laughs> Bit of a lark. <laughs> You two are what marriage is all about. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> there he is. There he is. Come on, Martin. Everybody's going out. Inaccurate, Howard. I'm not, so it can't be everybody, can it? <laughs> Do wish you come out from under that cloud, Martin. It's Christmas. 
Is it really? I thought the Mardi Gras had been diverted. <laughs> What's everybody lay out to do? Lie in a big heap and tickle each other? No. Paul's had a wonderful idea. Oh, him? Yes. We all come down to the recreation ground to play a silly football match. Girls versus boys. That's silly. It's meant to be. You're becoming a lost soul, Hilda. You are lost. No, I'm not. I'm having a lovely time. You're not. I am. You're not. <laughs> you just think you are. I mean, you and Howard, you. You trim the edges of your lawn. How can you possibly think there's anything sane about women playing men football? <laughs> There are women's teams. Nobody takes them seriously, Hilda. They just wobble about. <laughs> what about you refereeing? Certainly not. I'm a properly qualified referee. I've got a badge. If the league ever found out, they'd have my guts for gutters. They wouldn't. They'd probably just laugh. Yeah, of course, that seems to be the in thing now, doesn't it, Howard? Laughter. Well, there's nothing very much wrong with laughing, is there? Oh, well, Hilda, my dear, if you believe that, you might just as well demolish the House of Parliament. What does that mean? What does it mean? Yes. As long as you're under the influence of Paul Ryman, you'll never understand it. Well, at least he's not a grumpy box like you. <laughs> Are you sure you won't come, Martin? No, thank you. I don't like to see you like this at Christmas. Don't you? Would you like a few headers with your balloon before I go? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh. You're not playing football then? No. Nope. I've ruined your Christmas, haven't I? Yes. I should have listened to that small, still voice, shouldn't I? What voice was that? Well, late last night when we were farming people out and Anne said you wouldn't mind, I almost convinced myself that you wouldn't. I should have listened to that small, still voice because it was saying, he will mind, you know, he will mind terribly. Well, I suppose that does prove you've got a grain of humanity left in you. Yeah, well, I am human sometimes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Martin. It was, it was cavalier, it was thoughtless. I'll get them out of your way as soon as possible. No, you won't. But you don't want them here. I know I don't, but Anne said they could stay, didn't she? Well, I shouldn't have thought you were too fond of Anne at the moment. I'll show you something. That is my Christmas present to Anne. The card reads, To my darling wife Anne, Merry Christmas, love Martin. I am replacing that with, To Anne from Martin. <laughs> You've lost me. Look, it's all right for me to be angry with Anne, but I'm not having other people angry with her. I'm not having other people saying she invites you to stay in her home and then kicks you out. Well, there is a sort of morality in that, yes. Yeah, well, I like to think there's a sort of morality in everything I say. Could I have my balloon back, please? <laughs> Sorry. 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 Well, then. You know, I've really landed myself in it this time. I've just realised I've got another eight people coming up from Tewkesbury. I don't know where I'm going to put them. In the washing machine, I suppose. <laughs> You're so airy. Airy, aren't you? you see, that's the sort of brain I've got, Martin. I've, I've just begun to realise that this whole thing has become one huge logistical problem. I mean, there's the sleeping arrangements, breakfasts, bathroom timings. <sighs> it's all beyond me. Is it? Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, I, I, could, um, I could probably sort it out for you. Ah, oh, could you? <laughs> Well, it wouldn't be much fun, though, would it? No, not fun. I'm not saying it'd be fun. Well, Hell, Belt, I'd better get cracking on this one. <laughs> 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 